Brother, you see yourself anywhere on the sign? Uh, Where would you fall under, brother? Yeah. See yourself? Would you be Judah, right? The tribe of Judah. Christ was a Jew from the tribe of Judah. An Israelite, just like yourself, brother. Just like yourself. Did you know that Christ is the black man, brother? Yeah. Did you know that? All right, we're going to get it just to make sure. Matter of fact, give me Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Hebrews chapter 7 and verse 14. Yeah. Uh -huh. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ sprang out of the tribe of Judah. That's right. right. That's you. So-called African Americans. Now we're gonna touch on a little more. Give me Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Because a lot of people think, a lot of people think that that image is Christ. That is Caesar or Cesare Borgia, the son of Pope Alexander the Sixth. He is not the Messiah. Read what you got. Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. Uh-huh. Judah morning. And the gates they were of language. Because the gates are the head. The heads of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are languishing. They're lacking. They're not giving you the knowledge of this Bible. They're not teaching you that you are in this Bible. Read. They are black. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Joshua 6. They are what? They are black. They are what? They are black. Read. Unto the ground. That's you. That's you, brother. Christ is of the tribe of Judah, just like yourself, and he is black unto the ground, just like yourself, brother. Right! Now give me revelations. Bring it up! We must understand that we, are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are the children of Israel. What we are here to do, we are here to teach our people. If you notice, give me Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. Give me Luke 4 and 18. Because the Bible, a lot of people don't know that the Bible is really a black and Hispanic heritage. Yes, the Bible has never been a white man's book. Bring it out. But people have been misinformed. People don't read the Bible. They don't read it for themselves to see what it says. But read. Let's see what the Bible is about. Luke chapter 4 and verse 18. Uh -huh. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon your black, your black and Hispanic brothers up here today. We out here to warn you. We out here to teach you, to raise you up. Read. Because he have anointed me. <laughs> Read. Because he have anointed me. Because he have anointed me. Anointed. We've been anointed to do what? To preach the gospel. To preach the gospel. Now, what is the gospel? Is the gospel dying and going to heaven? Hell no. That's not according to the scriptures. Let's read what the gospel is. Keep reading, brother. To the poor. And so that's Read that from the top. Let's get it right. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord is upon us up here. Read. Because he have anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. You black and Hispanic, you are the poor. That's right. Where's yeah. your land at? The Bible is talking about you. Where's your land? Where's your culture? Where's your nationality? What's your language? You are the poor. You are the ones that don't have these things. Read. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. You are the brokenhearted. You're out of your mind. African is a slave name. That's right. The word Africa comes from Scipio Africanus. He. A white man who conquered uh, Hannibal in the Punic Wars. Right. That is not a nationality. Right. And if it, if it was, Africa is a continent. Right. There's yeah. over 50 countries in Africa. Over 50 of them. And our people just call themselves African American. It makes no sense. Read. To preach deliverance. To preach what? To preach deliverance. We are yet this day in your captivity. This is your enemy's land. Wake up. Come back to the knowledge of who you are. Wake up. This is not the land of the free. This is the land of slavery. That's, That's right. right. Now, death and destruction to your people. When you look around, what, what, why don't your people own any of the things that's here in America? We are, the, we are the servant class. We don't own anything. We don't produce nothing. Only thing we can do is follow what we are told to do. That is called a slave. Read. To preach deliverance to the captain. So the man of the Lord is here to preach deliverance to you. That's the gospel. Bring it out. That is what the gospel is. Deliverance to the captains. You black and Hispanic, you've been in your enemy's land for 400 years. Yes. Bring it out, huh? When you gonna wake up? When you gonna stand up like men? When you gonna 
don't stand up to be the man that God is calling you to be. Bring it up. And recovery of sight to the blind. Recovery of sight. Our people are blind. Our people are blind. Our people don't have no idea that they are in slavery today. When you don't make your laws, when you don't teach your own children, when you don't have your own religious institution, when you don't have any of those things, that's called slavery. Right. Captivity. Bring it up. When you need a passport or some documentation to leave or to come in, you do not have any power. Right. That's called slavery. Right. Leviticus chapter 26 and verse 17. And I will set my face against you, uh, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. God says you black and Hispanic will be slain before your enemies. Bring it out. They kill a brother just about every day. Right. And that's just from the police. That's just the police. What about all the death and destruction we go through daily, period, amongst ourselves? Right. Bring it out. Read. They that hate you, they that hate me, read. shall reign over you. Read that precept again. They that hate you, the Bible says, the nation of people that hate you blacks, the Hispanics, shall reign over you. This Bible is talking about you. But your pastors, they refuse to bring the knowledge out. That's right. They just want you shucking and jogging and docile. Right. And to take you for your money. Right. That's right. Raising up fools and idiots. Right. Read that again. And they that hate you shall reign over you. Shall reign they that hate you shall reign over you. This is the Bible. Now we know white people hate us. We know that. Somebody that love you will put you on the ship and destroy you. Right in slavery. Somebody that love you will teach you lies. Right. Somebody that love you won't make a mockery out of you every chance they get. Right. Knowing what they did to you. Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity, brother. Did you know we are yet this day in our captivity? This is slavery. Come forward, bro. Come forward. We out here to teach our people. You got to start to say manhood development. That's what we out here to do. To, de to develop men, righteous men, according to God. Right. Now, the brother asked you, what tribe you from? Judah. You from the tribe of Judah. The brother went over. That's the same tribe Christ came out. And you know that why that is so important to our people? Because guess what? If you look on that sign, we got the image of the beast. What kind of image is that? Is that a black man or a white man, right? That's a white man, right? The image of the beast. Now, our people, when they go to pray and they ask the Most High God for deliverance or for anything, guess what? This is who they looking to. Not themselves, not their own brothers, fathers. They looking to some damn white man to come save them. But while we in the hood gunning each other down, Shooting at each other. Look, I mean, just destroying each other. Right. We praising a damn white man that destroyed your people. Thanks. That destroyed your people. Put your people into captivity. So now we out here to bring the truth that Christ is a black man. Right. With woolly hair. That's right. what us said the Lord. Revelation 1.14. But a lot of people say it don't matter. You know why it don't matter? Because of white supremacy. They love white. A lot of our people, they support white supremacy. Whether they know it or not. Anytime you say that don't matter, that means you support white supremacy. Let's get up. Let's, uh, uh, let's go to the description of Christ. Revelations chapter 1 and verse 14. Christ is a black man with woolly hair. Thus, right. That's thus saith the Lord. Let's get it out of the Holy Bible. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Did your slave master teach you that? Or did he teach you a lie? Bring it out. Which one did he teach you? Did he say, did he teach you that Christ's hair was white like wool? Did he teach you that like, like the sister's hair right there? That's how Christ's hair is. Bring it on, like huh? the brother's hair. Read that again. His head and his hair were white like wool. That's right. the description of the black Christ, or the only Christ. That's the description of his hair. Right. It says white like wool. Right. Who has woolly hair today? We know blacks and Hispanics got woolly hair today. Right. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. He had a full head of gray hair. Read. And his eyes were in a flame of fire. Listen, we read in the description of Christ. Christ is not a white man. Christ looked like you blacks. 
Christ's hair, Christ's hair is like you blacks. That's, right. That's how Christ's hair is. Right. This is thus said the Lord. Now a lot of people might say, well, we teaching hate. That's somebody that supports white supremacy. Yeah. But we ain't here to support nothing but the word of God. That's, right. Right. That's yeah. it. So why did our forefathers go into slavery? That's what we want to know why. Did, any, did, did our people know that slavery is prophesied in the Bible? They were not, why was it so important for the white man not to let us read in slavery? Why? Because your nationality is found in this Bible. The truth about the greatness of who you are is in this Bible. That's right, right. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. Please. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Now hold on. I went here because this part, this scripture and this chapter proves who the children of God is. That's right. Don't everybody want to know who the children of God is? That's right. Yeah. Everybody want to know, right? Right. Yeah. Well, let's bring it out who the children of bring God is. Bring it out. Read that again. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. But it shall come to pass. This is a future prophecy. Read. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Read. To observe. To what? To observe. Uh huh. To do all his commandments. Now God gave our people commandments, laws. That's what made us great. Right. We didn't have homosexuality right. amongst us. We had laws against it. Right. You understand? We had laws against it. The big devil's always coming out. We, and his statutes, which I command thee this day. And his statutes, which I command thee this, which he commanded us this day. Read. That all these curses. Shall come upon thee. That all these what? That all these curses shall come upon thee. God says all these curses shall come upon his people. Now let's read some of these curses. Because we have so-called Jewish people saying that they're the people of this Bible. But guess what? We're going to read the Bible and we're going to see. Jump to 32. Verse 32. Thy son and thy daughters. Shall be given unto another people. Hold on, read that again loud and slow. Verse 32 Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Now, black and Hispanic man was not your forefathers and foremothers given into slavery to another people. Teach. Was, or the, was the so called white man, did his, for, his forebears go into slavery to, to another people? Teach. Where's that history at? It don't exist. God says that your, fore, your foreparents will go into slavery unto another people. And did it happen? Yes. Yeah. God is revealing that you are the Israelites. That's right. Salvation is for you. That's right. Christ came to deliver you. Right. That's right. Read. And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. God says our eyes would look and fail with longing all the day long. Just like now, just like in slavery, our brothers and sisters get shot down, what we doing? Marching. That's what you call our eyes looking and failing with longing all the day long. Right. Because marching up the street ain't going to do nothing for you. Right. The nations look at you like a joke. Now, what is marching going to do? Not a damn thing. Uh, bring it on, huh? Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment. An astonishment. We are an astonishment. Anytime you see a sister with I don't know how many kids and no husband, that is an astonishment. Anytime you see a brother selling drugs in his own community, that is an astonishment. Oh, yeah. A proverb. What is a proverb? A proverb is a wise saying. Like, let's get some of the wise sayings. Like, uh, all black men like to do is chase women and get hot. That's a lot. Bring it out. Because we, brother, we black men up here today, we don't do none of that. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Read. And a bad word. And a bad word. Brother, you have a question. Well, we're here, we're teaching our people who they are, and they must 
come back to who they are and the commandments of God. Did you, do you believe in the Bible, brother? You believe in the Bible? What color is Christ? Black man, right? So what? Who are? Who is Christ's people? It gotta be black people, right? That's common sense, right? I heard that uh, somebody else painted those disciples in the pictures, right? Say that again. Somebody else painted that. I mean, an artist. He painted it in his image. Michelangelo. Painted right. uh, uh, during the Renaissance age. Exactly. You had the so-called white man when he came back in power. Guess what he did? He painted Christ. I mean, he painted Caesar Borgia. The Pope of the, the sixth Pope of, of Rome, his son is named Caesar Borgia. Michelangelo painted this image to basically to bring the new Renaissance Jesus Christ. But according to the Bible, Christ don't look like Christ don't look like him. Bring it up! According to the Bible, Christ's people looks like him. Right. And we just read the description of Christ. Hair like wool, feet like it burned in a furnace. Right. That's so Christ's people is black. Right. Christ, who are you? So are you a child of God? Who are you? Child of God. So now, let me ask this. Is all nations, can all nations be a child of God? Can anybody that believe in Christ or believe in God be a child of God? You think so? Of course, but now you now you said you think so based off of what? So let's get it in read. Let's get, let's get I'm glad you said Isaiah. Now let's get in and read how God feel about the nation. Because this Bible is a tell-all book. And God said in Daniel 12 and 4 that the word would be sealed. But in the last days, he's going to bring brothers and come teach it uh, unadulterated scripture as it is written. Now let's read how God feel about the nation. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Behold, the nations are the drop of a bucket. Uh-huh. And are counted, and are counted as a dust. On the, Behold, the nation are as a drop of a bucket. God says the nations are as a drop of a bucket. What's another word for nations, according to the Bible? I'll give it to you: heathens, Gentiles, anybody outside of Israel. That's it right. says the Be nations, sure. these oh. other nations. The white man, the Arab, the Chinese, he says, they are of the, they are like a drop of a bucket. Right. Now, when you have a big bucket of water, you spill a little drop. You do not look back for that drop, or you do not try to go recover that drop. That drop does not matter, right? It's not a fact. Bring it out. Now, read it from the top again. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket. Uh-huh. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. And are counted as the small dust of the balance. Now, if you had a balance beam, right? And you know how if it sits there long enough, dust gets on it, right? Now, do the dust changes the uh, or shifts it or weighs anything? So, let me ask you a question. Now, the reading is, how does God fill the public nations? So, it says the Lord, right? He, he, he meaning he don't give a damn about it. Right. But now, let's, That's get, right. Let's, let's get the understanding of what this Bible is about. Let me Jeremiah coming together and say, love everybody. We love you. We love No, if you see in the earth, ain't no love in the earth. Nothing but death and destruction. God said there's a time for war, a time for peace. There's a time for love and a time to hate. Right now, if you're not hating the, the, world, the state of the world, there's something that's wrong with you. If you're in the spirit of love, 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 something is wrong with you because it ain't nothing but war and destruction. Right. Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8. The prophets that have been before me. Uh, that have been the same thing with us. The prophets that have been before us. Read. And before thee. Uh-huh. Of old. Of old, way back, read. Prophecy both against many countries. They prophesied against many against many countries. Not for countries. They were preaching the destruction of countries. When you read, you can read Jeremiah. What was he preaching? The destruction of Babylon. Why? Because his people was in slavery in Babylon. Well, did you know this is spiritual Babylon? Babylon the Great. And God's people was back in slavery again. Let's read it. Bring it out! Bring it out, right? Against great kingdoms. Against great kingdoms. We always prophesied against great kingdoms. Read. Of war! Of war. America is the greatest kingdom of war. And of evil. And of what? And of evil. And that's what we are here to do today. 
same thing that the prophets that we ain't changing nothing. Right. We're gonna read it, thus said the Lord. Right. And this has got to be the most wickedest country on the face of the world. Right? Right. Right. On the face of the earth. Right? So now, let's see, what does God say we need to do to get the Lord? Because a lot of our people, a lot of our a lot of our people, they really don't. They really enjoy the state of America. A lot of our people, they really enjoy uh, the ways of America, the festivities. Ecclesiastes, chapter 7 and verse 7. But they hate the, uh, the conditions that they people are in. They hate the, uh, the way we operate as a nation, as a family, as a father. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. God says surely oppression make a wise man mad. How many wise brothers do we have out here? How many wise sisters do we have out here? Read that again. Surely oppression maketh the wise man mad. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. You black people. My people, are we not oppressed? Do the world hate our guts? So now we supposed to be mad. So when you get mad, what are you supposed to do? Sit on the couch and watch TV? Give me first night to let's read for you. Let's read. We're going to get everything out of the scriptures. Because little that our people know, the Bible got all the answers on how to get out of this situation. You black and Hispanics, you better come back to God. Right. You better learn who you are before it's too late. Right. First Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 43, they said one to another, let us restore the decay, the state of the people. Read that again. They said one to another. The men, the men of the Lord back in the day during the time of the Maccabees, during the Greek captivity, they said one to another. Read. Let us, uh -huh. let us restore the decay, the state of let our people. Of our people, let us restore the decay, the state. Brother, can I ask you a question? Are, 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 have our people, we're, we're in a decayed state, right? So now, we have so many philosophies coming at us. Which way do we go? Where are the answers? Because, guess what? Everything that we've learned in this country has not been taught by our forefathers. It's been taught by people that hate us. From the education system to, I mean, the whole system from top to bottom. Right. So guess what? Right. Now, guess now, do we have the means to teach our own children? Now, I'm saying for us, we do not have public school. We don't have institutions like that. So now we got to send our children to what? For our enemies. But what are we supposed to do to get out of this school? What are we supposed to do? How do we raise the decay to state of our people? That's the question. What, what, we have all these different philosophies, all of these different ways. We got all Afrocentric, uh, Islam. I think that you gotta start with the media. You gotta have your own media outlet because that's what you're using the media for propaganda. Yes, from cinema to, to yeah. theater to, you know, you turn on the TV. But the thing is, they use it for propaganda against us, but a lot of times, when they show, like they got a new show where you got a rap, a drug dealer turn, rapper turn, icon. Now, it's propaganda, bro. it is propaganda, but guess what? We got many stories like that where they are true. So regardless of this propaganda or not, we still can go look at different brothers and say, this brother was a drug dealer turn, rapper turn, icon. You see what I'm saying? So it is more than just the media. It's something that has to start up here. It's, it's all mentality, all right? White corporations like what you're saying, and what you're saying is pushing uh, white supremacy. Uh -huh. Even if you're an ex drug dealer, turn rapper, turn this, turn that, mm -hmm. they're going to put you up on a pedestal of what you're saying is oppressing your people. Period. Right, I understand that. You're going to get the money. You're going to get the money, but guess what? You're going to look successful. Let's get the scripture. Let's get, because I understand what you're saying, but it's more to it. It's more to it because we have, according to this Bible, when you read the history in this Bible, we understand who we are. We search it for our language. A lot of people might say, well, I'm African and I'm this. But then when you say, okay, well, what land are you from? Where's your language? Where's your culture? How'd you get over your slave ships? We have no answers. But we're just going to attach ourselves to something because that's what we've been taught for years, that we are African. But in reality, 
There's none of us that are African here because African don't really even exist. Right. Africa comes from the name of a white man named Scipio Africanus. Right. Period. But let's read this. Psalms 127 and 1. Psalms chapter 127 and verse 1. Because this is, I'm out here to tell you, if you are following anything other than this Bible and the Most High God and His laws, guess what? You are going nowhere. You're really running in circles. You're really going around Mount Sinai all over again. Bring it up. Read. Except the Lord built the house. Except what? Except the Lord built the house. Except the Lord built the house. Is it talking about a literal house? No, it's talking about a nation of people. Read. They labor in vain. You're laboring in vain. So regardless of how Afrocentric you get, you laboring in vain. Because at the end of the day, Afrocentrics ain't going to get these women husbands. Ain't going to get our brothers out the penitentiary. Ain't going to get our brothers and sisters off these drugs. Ain't gonna get us out of the land of our enemy. Right. You have to be born again. Right. We have to renew our mind. Right. We have to be taught the laws of the Most High God. That's right. Give me uh, 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 We have to be born again. Romans. We have to be born again. John chapter three and verse three. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I yeah. say unto thee, Except a man be born again. Except a man be born again. Meaning, you can say you're following this, that, that, this. But if you're still doing the same things that you've been doing, then you're not born again. That's right. Then you're not born again. Bring it on, huh? You're not born again, and that's what we are here to teach our people, to baptize our people's mind and cleanse their lives with the word of God. That's right. God, a lot of people think this Bible deals with religion, but no, it deals with just law. It deals with the nation of people. We've been lied to. We've been taught that the Bible just deals with love, and we're supposed to just walk hand in hand with our enemies, with people that hate us. That's not what the Bible says. Hey. We must be converted, brothers and sisters. That is the only way. There's high time. This is high time to come back to who you are. We've been lied to. That's why we out here to bring this truth. We out here showing you much love. It takes a lot of love. It takes a lot of strength to come out here to teach our people. But we know our people look at us like niggas. Like we ain't nobody. We don't exist. But guess what? Who out here showing you love to come raise you up? Who are you coming to tell you that you're the greatest people according to God? We got to read it out of the Bible. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Repentance. What is repentance? A lot of people think repentance is just some light thing. But we know according to this Bible, repentance is really the, the only, the most revolutionary thing that you can get do. Because guess what? Did you know today is the Lord's Sabbath? Yes. That's right. Guess what? Let's, first of all, let's read Exodus 20 and 8. We're going to show you what being repentance and being converted. Because the Sabbath is today. That's right. right. This is a holy day. Bring it out. But according to America, this is the most popular day to do what you will. But according to God, this, this is his day. Let's read some of, let's read about God's day. Read. Exodus chapter 20. In verse 8, read, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, to keep it holy, not to come out here and shop, buy, sell, chase women, smoke crack, right. drink liquor, right. all these ridiculous things that are, we know that our people do. That's right. Read, six days shall thou labor. You had, sun, um, you had Sunday to Friday evening to come out here and labor. They go to 
the church. They've been taught. We don't need to be taught. That's how they, that's how our people when they come to approach us. That's how they act. When we read the Bible, we don't need to hear nobody what they got to say when we can just read the Bible. Read what read how to conduct how, read how we're supposed to conduct ourselves on the Sabbath. Nehemiah chapter 10, verse 31. And if the people of the land bring wine or any victuals, they said that the people of the land bring merchandise. Because during this time, we were in our own land. In, in, in Israel, Jerusalem, that's where you black and Hispanic brothers are from. That's right. We were in hell. And God said, and Nehemiah was telling the people, if the other nations bring anything, any merchandise to sell to you, read. On the Sabbath day to sell, on the what? On the Sabbath day to sell, which is today, read. That we would not buy it from them. We would not what? We would not buy it of them. Read. On the Sabbath. On the Sabbath. You hear that? You blacks and Hispanics. You are a people of God. The reason why you went into slavery is because you broke God's law. That's right. You hate, yeah. you hate each other. Right. It's a law to love your brother as you love yourself. It's a law to raise up your family according to God's word. But since you don't do that, that's why you went to slavery. That's why you were destroyed. Or on the holy day, or on any other holy days, if the people...
about the so-called Jews. Because a lot of people think that the white man is a, is a, is a Jew. But you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the Jews. Right. But you have no idea. You've been destroyed in slavery. I know thy works in tribulation, in poverty, but they are rich. God says he knows your works, your tribulation, and poverty. What tribulation? 1492, when the Spaniards came and conquered you Spanish. That's the tribulation that he's talking about. 1611, when the so-called black man was brought over on slave ships. That's the tribulation. He said, but thou art rich, free. And I know the blasphemy, blasphemy is a disgusting lie. God knows the blasphemy, free. Of them, of what? Of them, that what? That say they are Jews. That what? That say they are Jews. Who says they are Jews today, brother? So go white man, right? The white man claims to be a Jew, right? You got a question, brother? Or this white man right here. That's what Jesus Christ looks like? Yeah. Okay. Is that according to you? Let me ask you something. Where are you from, bro? What's your nationality? I'm from the Caribbean. You're from the Caribbean. Yeah. Now this is the, the so this is the son of God, what you yeah. said. The white yeah. man is the son of yeah. God. Yeah. Who taught you that? Where'd you get that from? I'm from the Caribbean. Can you find that in the Bible? No. So, but you know, the reality, right? Listen, we gotta, the reality is in here. Now let me show you. I don't want you to go and tell nobody that this is the image of the beast. I'm here to tell you that Christ does not look like that. Let me, we're going to read it. Hold, hold right here. We're going to show you. Because you don't ever want to go off telling somebody. Brother, let's read the Bible. 2 Corinthians, chapter 11, verse 4. For if he that cometh preaches another Jesus, the white man came preaching another Jesus. He came with this image. You, this is not the image of the Son of God. Preach. Who we have not preached, but nowhere in the Bible did they preach God looking like, a Son of God looking like this. Right, right. Now, give me Daniel's, uh, 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 okay. Now, let's see the description of Christ, what he looked like. Because, I mean, and, and, and I want you to, I want you to follow along. We got the scripture right here. Daniel 10 to 6, right there. Read it. Right there. Follow along. Read it. Daniel chapter 5. I mean, Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Now we're going to get into some more of the description of Christ. Read it. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked. And behold. Hold on. Now he wasn't dreaming. He said he lifted up his eyes and looked. And behold. I mean, this is what he saw. Read it. Because a lot of people say, well, Christ is a spirit. Daniel just said he looked and behold a certain man clothed in linen. A spirit ain't wearing no dang on clothes. Daniel said he saw a man Read. whose loins were guarded with fine God of you fans. His loins, because of, uh, it was a custom of our people to wear the big glorious skirt around our waist. Read. His body also was like a man. He had a green garment on Read. And his face has a appearance of like it because of wisdom making the face to shine. And the Christ is ain't no more, ain't nobody more wiser than the Christ. That's why his face is more brief. And his eyes, and his what? And his eyes as lamps of fire. Because according to Genesis, it says that Christ drank wine. That's why his eyes are brief. And his horn and his feet. Hold on. Now look. Look at your horn, brother. Your arms and your feet is the same color, right? Oh, yeah. So as, as your face, right? Yeah. As your whole body, right? Yeah. Now let's read about Christ's arms and feet. Okay. And his arms and his feet, like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Now we know this man, look at him, the colorless. How is he gonna, how is this gonna be the Christ of this Bible? When they just say Christ looks like in color. Two pounds brass. What color is brass, brother? Brown. Brown, brown, brown right? Yeah, yeah. Now we just, now hold on. Before you said this is the actual image of Christ. So now, according to what we just read, is this this is is this what Christ looks like? Uh, what does Christ look like? 
channels down as some of you have noticed <laughs> ever so often subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts we want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos so again Please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.